Hello and welcome to Tips Tuesday. I'm Terry Pilkadaris. And I'm Rory He. In this video, we're going to explain how to hit the bump and run shot. We'll break this down into three steps that if you combine should help you to hit the bump and run. Oh, need more power. Step one. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> We need to cut that one, he thinned it. <laughs> the bump and run, very different to a chip shot, and there's different reasons why. Now the difference with the bump and run is the ball will be running along the ground quicker as it gets onto the green. Standard chip shot's gonna fly a little bit up in the air. So bump and run, if you've got a bad lie, great tool to use. If it's windy, great tool to use. I'm using an eight iron. Now I want this ball to run along the ground before it gets onto the green. And you'll see it tumbling along. Great shot, Terry. Go in. As you can see, the ball was bouncing before it got to the green. And then as it's got onto the green, it's rolling at a nice consistent pace. All right. Now I'll show you the chip shot. The main difference with chip shot and the bump and run is first you're using more loft on the club and you're making a bigger swing because you're trying to land it on the green. Same basic principles. Okay, good shot there, Rory. Okay, so we're gonna give you three steps to master the bump and run. Step one is club choice. Hitting the bump and run shot, you've got to choose the correct club. Rory's got four clubs here. He's got lob wedge, and then eight iron, seven iron, six iron. Now, would you be using a lob wedge for a bump and run? No, Terry, you would never use a lob wedge for a bump and run. Okay, lob wedge is more designed to hit the chip shot, flop shot. So if we discard that. And throw that away. So now with the bump and run, you get to choose. You've got a couple of clubs, different options. You can either have it where you hit something like an eight iron, and the ball lands just short of the green, or another option is you have it running, th the ball bounces three or four times, starts rolling, and then continues rolling onto the green. So we'll show you, we'll demonstrate your preference. So obviously this, we're going to use an eight iron and a seven iron. Eight iron and a six iron. So eight we iron can and a six iron, so seven iron's seven. gone. Right, so we can start with the eight iron right now. So like you said, I'm going to try to land this just short on that, on that tee next to the green. And it should skip once and, and then roll onto the green. It did exactly that. Oh, great shot there. Now some people might prefer that, but there's another option for the bump and run. It's a six iron, where it bounces two or three times before it rolls smoothly on the green. Hit the T. Hit the T, big. <laughs> Still not a bad shot. As you can see, there's always a preference. You're going to perform one shot better than the other. There's no right or wrong when it comes to bump and runs. It comes down to what you feel you can hit closest to the hole. Step two, set up for hitting the bump and run. This setup is very different to a standard chip shot. So if I give Rory the lob wedge, the standard chip shot, how would you set up with this one, Rory? Well, for this shot, I would have my weight on the left side about 60 to 70% and 30% on the right side. Okay, and then ball position, where's the ball position normally going? Ball position is normally back and you can also measure that by dropping your club straight down from your chin. So the club then works out this way and that's in so line with the chin? Straight into the ball. Okay, now if we go with the bump and run, what are we going to do? So with the bum and run, you would want less loft and you want it to get rolling as, fa as fast as possible. So you want the ball to be just right, just a little bit behind from where your chin is at address. Okay, let's have a look. There you go. Beautiful shot. That one works wonders.
step three, hitting the bump and run shot, you've got to have your hands forward. If we've got the lob wedge in our hands, like Rory's got here, how would you set up to that? You'd have the club? Um, I would have it slightly forward. Maybe when I drop it from setup, it would hit the inside of my left eye. Okay, now if we're going on, we've got eight on here, so we're hitting a bump and run. So we Where does that club go? So we want less loft and you want it to run. So you want it a little bit more forward at a dress than normal. So when I take the, my hands off, it should drop right in the middle of my left eye. And that de-lofts the club and allows the ball. Turns this eight iron to a six iron. Closes the tumble, loft down, yeah. tumble more. All right, let's see that go. You can see where my hands are at a dress. Go in. Going in. Oh, just up. missed. Just to recap, the three steps to the bump and run. One is club choice. Two, set up. Weight distribution, 60 to 70% on your left side. Number three, hands forward. Hands forward, pointing more to the middle of your leg, Helps deal off the club a little bit, gets the ball tumbling a little quicker. If you can master those three things, you're on your way to being a great bump and run player. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Comments below. Don't forget to click on the Asian Troll logo to subscribe and click on the link for another video.